about the um, pedal that I just put together. I um, just created this sort of pedal to recreate the original Maxon OD808. Um, I mean, if we just bring the camera here, there's not much to see really, but inside here is the circuit, um, which the um, Tube Screamer designer in Japan, working for Maxon, he sort of designed this pedal called the Maxon OD808, and he actually used two op amps, um, Fairchild op amps, instead of using one op amp and two transistors for the input and output buffer. So using the two op amps just gives, uh, maybe to my ears, a little bit of a milder tone, very bluesy sort of sound. Um, and you can just literally set it, you know, like you would a normal tube screamer, maybe a bit more level, um, less sort of drive at say nine o'clock um, tone in the middle. And so let's just play a few things with this so you can hear the sound. By the way, this is, this is the clean sound. Very good for the sort of Steve Ray Vaughan. It's got a, a real kind of Steve Ray Vaughan attack. <laughs> Master built, um, nice, really nice Telecaster with uh, Abigail pickups. But I just wanted you guys just to hear the original incarnation of a Tube Screamer pedal. It's a really um, interesting thing to check out. Um, you're not going to find, even uh, from 1979, if you look for the Maxon 808, you'll find it's probably got Motorola, um, I think, um, op amps. So you will not find it with the Fairchild op amps. But that's what the the design of the tube screamer originally used was the Fairchild op amp. So I just wanted you guys to hear, you know, the tube screamer, the original circuit with the two Fairchild op amps. And it's a really cool bit of um, tube screamer history. Uh, tube screamer history there. Okay, guys, that's it for Goose. Take care. <laughs>